CBM, we showed a good second stage capture. Uh, you are now go for exercise throughout both U.S. and Russian segments. And we have a, about a five-minute LOS coming up here in four minutes. And you can press through that LOS for the timeline. Copy. We'll press through the timeline. Thanks, Terry. Look good. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, team here in Houston continuing to uh, plan ahead for the next tasks. They will uh, get the crew set up and ready to release the arm from the uh, HTV itself. They have uh, confirmed that there is a good second stage capture. All of the 16 bolts that are holding HTV to the International Space Station look to be in good shape. See the official berthing time is 8.51 a.m. Central Time. About three minutes ago, 8.51 a.m. Central Time, 9.51 a.m. Eastern Time. The International Space Station currently uh, out of communications range with, range with Mission Control for uh, about another minute and a half. And then uh, once they come back, they will begin the process of working with the crew to get that arm backed away from HTV. The uh, arm's major tasks for today have been completed, although its job is not totally done yet. They will go ahead and begin the process of moving it toward that exposed pallet, which is uh, inside the middle portion of HTV. The station's arm will be used to withdraw that. All of that's going to take place on February the 1st. The actual part transfer to move the two major portions of the unpressurized cargo off of that exposed pallet will take place February the 2nd through the 4th. And as we mentioned earlier, the hatches in between HTV and the International Space Station are going to be opened tomorrow morning beginning at about 6.30 a.m. Central Time, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. The crew will actually pick up uh, moving cargo out of the HTV, that pressurized section, beginning on February the 8th. And then they're going to relocate HTV from the uh, bottom side of Harmony, which it is currently located on. On February the 18th, they're going to move it up to the top portion of Harmony, the space-facing portion of that module. It's going to stay there until after the STS-133 mission because of the fact that Discovery will dock with Harmony, the forward portion of it. HTV needs to be moved out of the way to uh, give some clearance to the shuttle for all the operations that will take place during that space shuttle mission. This is a live view of the Scuba Space Center, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's uh, flight control room. They've been watching very carefully today as HTV arrived at the International Space Station. And uh, there was uh, quite a celebration this morning as the robotic arm reached out and grabbed onto their cargo carrier. And they're going to be very busy over the next few days uh, watching over all the different uh, cargo transfer that will take place of both the unpressurized cargo and the pressurized cargo that's inside HTV. But that entire team there has uh, invested quite a bit of effort into this uh, spacecraft, and they are uh, no doubt very happy to see it uh, finally arrive for its uh, debut with the International Space Station.